so let's go to going let's like hi i want to talk today about rocks box it is a jewelry subscription service now i have like no association with them or frankly anybody so it's nothing like that I just, it's something I've always kind of heard about and kind of had interest in and decided to like dive in and figure it out. I felt like it was a bit confusing to me, which is why I thought it was worth making a video on because maybe it's confusing to other people too. So like I said, it's a monthly service. You're going to pay at least what it's set out right now is $21 a month. And that means you're going to have access to three pieces of jewelry, which seem to include, um earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and rings. So three pieces total and you can, as far as I can tell and what they say is you could like send it in and have them send you a new set as much as you wanted. So I guess if you got a set and you hated it, you could send it like right back in. But even if you kept your set like longer than that month, you're going to pay again for the next month. So it's set up to pay on the calendar month. So you wouldn't really want to keep your pieces too long because I would say that they average at price between like 40 to 50 bucks per piece. So kind of like the longer you keep it and the more monthly fee you pay, eventually you should just buy the jewelry. The other thing is that $21 monthly fee you can use towards purchasing jewelry that they send you. So that's pretty cool too. But so, yes, so I looked into it. I think the reason that I was interested is I like kind of trying out. I like to change my jewelry pretty frequently. So I like the appeal of that. As it is, I tend to buy like the cheapy jewelry. Like I'll get my jewelry at Forever 21. I'll buy it on eBay. Like just like the cheapest stuff because I, d I don't know. I've had jewelry commitment phobia. <laughs> so I buy something cheap and it wears out and then that's okay. But sometimes it's not okay because I really like the piece and I really wished it wouldn't have worn out. And so that was kind of what brought me interested here is I'm hoping that the quality justifies the higher price because the design is the same. Like there are things that I can literally get like the same exact looking piece somewhere cheaper. And so the real question is, is it going to last longer? Now I haven't had it long enough to know. And then the other thing I was really concerned about in the past when I saw other people's rocks boxes, I was frankly kind of like, that jewelry is ugly. <laughs> and so I was concerned, like, are they going to have what I like? And I really love what they sent me. So let's go towards my rocks box. That's why I'm not wearing anything right now because I'm going to put it on. I'd initially wanted to like film this with me opening it for the first time, but I'll get into this later and it just didn't make sense to do that. So I got this in the mail and I've already opened it and then you'll use the same envelope to send it back to them. So inside... There was a little card for me, like from my stylist, and it talked about the pieces that I got. And then I've got this cute little box with the jewelry inside. I was able to see what I was getting before it arrived to me. Now I couldn't make any changes to it, but you can look and see what you're getting. All three of the pieces I got are between $45 and $49, so they're at a pretty similar price point there. Let's open it up. It's a very cute box. Now, I'm not sure. I guess I would send it back in this box, so it's not for me forever. I'm going to have to say goodbye to this box. And then inside the box, it's still cute. They got cute paper. It's taped down. And then I got three pouches with the jewelry in it. And then I have a return label in there. Let me look real quick and see if you return it in the box or not. I'll look that up. Hold, please. So yes, it appears that you are going to return it in the box. Although I guess if you buy all of it, you keep the box too, maybe? I don't know. But so you're going to put it back in the box, put that in the envelope, put the label on the envelope, and return it. And you can just you know, put it in your mailbox or whatever you do. You don't need to do anything like special to take it to the post office. But so, okay. So the jewelry itself, I got two pairs of earrings and a necklace. 
Um, you can set up a wish list, and they encourage you to set up a wish list so you can kind of like look through their jewelry, although they're tricky, and it's not easy to just be like, look at all the jewelry. You kind of can look at what they want to show you. And so you look through that, and you put together a wish list, and then even of your wish list, you can put together a top 10 of your wish list. And I don't think I got anything from my top 10. I'm not positive, but definitely everything did come from my wish list. But like they were really fast and on the ball. So since it was my first one, my wish list wasn't huge. I know that my top 10 did not include like 10 pieces. So I wasn't really like, I was surprised and pleased that it all came from my wish list. And I was not devastated that it did not come from my top 10. So I got these Kendra Scott pouch of earrings. And it's all like bubble wrapped and cute. And then there they are. And everything looked really clean and like new looking. Like nothing looked, like it looked great. I had no complaints there. Like now I'm poking at it. I've worn these, I've had the chance to wear them once. And that was what was kind of quirky. So I signed up for mine towards the end of the calendar month, which that's how they like transition over. So you might want to avoid that if it's you and wait for the next month because it meant that I had like a really short period of time for that month to like see my jewelry and decide if I want to purchase it or just like lose that credit. So that's kind of a bummer. But the other side of that is it's pretty easy not to pay for your first month. You can from anyone who uses Rocksbox get a code from them to have credit to uh, get your first month, including that $21 worth of credit to purchase jewelry from for free. So so that kind of makes up for the, the short month situation. I will include my link in the description, but it's just the same link that literally anyone that uses Rocksbox can give you. So you can use anyone's link. Um, yeah, so that's this pair of earrings. It's like it looks kind of like a gem, but it's like a mother of pearl. It's got a really cute little like diamond shape and a natural cut look to it. And I really like it. I like kind of wearing it climbing up my ear like that. I was really, I really want, I'm likely to keep it. I like it. I like all the pieces they sent me and I want to keep all of them. I don't know if I will or not, but that was a really good sign because I really was concerned that what I was gonna get wasn't my style. I don't like my jewelry too big and I felt like that's a lot of what I saw a lot of people getting. And you probably feel like you, if that's your style, you probably feel like you're getting more bang for your buck with like those huge chunky necklaces and stuff. But that's not what they wanted. So I was pleased to see, you know, and, and if my style is not your style too, just they do have a nice variety and they seemed pretty good at getting you what you wanted. And yeah, you would not think this needs to be so much chattered, would you? The other pair of earrings that I got were Jules Smith. They're ear crawlers, which is like they go up the ear. And I really love ear crawlers. I don't know how much they love me because I feel like I have stubby little ears. <laughs> and, um, but these ones really blew me away because I wore them for the day. And usually if I wear ear crawlers, I'm spending the whole day like butzing with them. As if you've watched my videos, anytime I've worn them, like that's what I end up doing is like having to fix my ear throughout the entire video. And these like, I don't know, it's like magic. It just stays up there in place. It's not even like pinching my ear or anything crazy like that. It's just, Pretty magic. So I like this pair a lot. I've actually, like I said, my credit for the month was going to expire really shortly after getting them. So I already purchased these because I think in a lot of ways, that's kind of how you're going to get good bang for your buck is if you take the set that they send you and pick your favorite piece and get that. Uh, they do, if you buy all three pieces, take another $10 off. But, you know, that's expensive because mine would have been over a hundred bucks to keep all three pieces. And I guess I really want more of a sense still of like the quality and how well it's going to last or not. If that's going to last and you really love them, then I'm not saying that's not worth it. But yeah, I still want more of an idea. But I did go ahead 
and get these because that was my favorite. And then I also got an adorable little necklace by Sophie Harper. It's the little cactus and it's rose gold. And I mean, just off the bat, the quality for these seem nice. They seem a little nicer than the cheap jewelry I'm accustomed to. It's so cute and dainty. Like it's so little. I love dainty jewelry. It's so cute. So this is one that I know I could literally get for cheaper. And I just don't know if, um, you know, there's going to be a quality difference or not. So those are the three pieces I got this month. I liked wearing them all together. I think they're pretty. I really felt like it was my style. It was what I wanted. I mean, it literally came from like the wish list that I set up. So I was pleased. The one other thing I think that's worth talking about with Roxbox is they have a sale jewelry section, which you're only gonna have access to if you're a member. So you can't just not subscribe to Roxbox and buy any of their sale jewelry. It is used jewelry. And I haven't, I actually have made three purchases now and we'll see how I like them or not from the sale jewelry because they were really well priced and it was stuff that I was interested in. So I kind of went for that instead of more stuff from the stuff that they sent me. And hopefully it's good. I don't think it's returnable. I'm pretty sure it's not. So but I don't think they just do something to like tee you off when they know that you pay each month. Like why would they just send you garbage or make you really mad? Um, they're a little tricksy with it because if you go to a piece via not the sale page, you're going to see the regular price, even if it is on sale, which I think is a little tricksy, but just now you know and I know, and so don't be tricked. So do, like I went to the sale to make sure that none of the pieces they sent me were actually on sale and they weren't, but I don't know. And maybe it's less tricksy. Maybe they will make it clear. Like if they send you something in your box, it's on the sale section. Cause it looks like they do because in the sales stuff, there's both stuff that you can add to your wish list, and there's stuff that they're like, no, we're nearly out of this. Don't put it on your wish list. You need to just buy it <laughs> if you want it. So that's that business. Um, you cannot use your monthly credit for any sale item purchases. So like I went on yesterday or so and wanted to use the monthly credit on the earring. And then I also looked through the sale section and bought a couple of things that I liked there because I kind of wanted to see what that was all about. Yeah. So that's been my rocks box experience so far. It's been good. I like it. I would recommend trying it, especially because you can try your first month for free. And in fact, that shine credit that I got to use, I didn't pay for it because they just gave it to me because my first month was free. So no complaints. If anyone is interested in knowing how any of my opinions go further, like how the jewelry does wear or how the sales stuff appears, totally let me know. I'm not necessarily otherwise planning on making um, a video on it. And I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. I was really excited when I signed up for it. And I was excited to get it in the mail and look at all their jewelry. And yeah, so here we are. And I've already talked so much. So I should say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. And goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.